Johnny's getting some TLC this morning. It's near the end of his warranty, and so it was time to get the armrest fixed. So my local John Deere dealer is out this morning to replace it. This is Josh from Reynolds Farm Equipment. Josh, how long have you been with Reynolds? Oh, a little over a year now. Okay. You like it? I love it. The whole road service thing is kind of training. It's something I always wanted to do. Oh, really? So you, so you do this kind of field service all the time? Yeah. I'm on a garden, so... Oh, okay. Basically anything just going to push more to uh, build some of the 5,000 series tractors. Okay. Josh started the process by removing a screw from the back side. It had an Allen head on it, so he used his socket with an Allen head adapter uh, to begin to loosen it. After removing the screw, it, I couldn't tell for sure if he pulled something off the end of that rod there where the armrest was on or not. He's working at that now, and I couldn't tell for sure whether he pulled something off or not. Then he just started twisting the armrest back and forth while he was pulling on it, and he really didn't pull very hard, and it came right off for him. If you need an armrest for your 1025R, both sides are the same part number. Use the link in the upper right hand corner or in the description to order one of these armrests at a nice discount from greenfarmparts.com. If you need other parts, the same discount applies. TTWT is the coupon to code to apply at checkout. Now Josh is beginning to put the armrest back on. After he inserts this steel piece, he begins to twist the arm back and forth, just like he did when he took the armrest off. Do you have a John Deere, Josh? Uh, yeah, I got a couple little bars. That's all I need is a little more. Yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit bigger than most we have here. You think I got too big a mower, Josh? If you were selling me a mower, would you maybe sell me a little smaller one than what I got? I don't know, it's kind of tense. Uh, <laughs> Do you like to play around with toys? There you go. Now you got it. You got it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> so really you just had to loosen that Allen wrench, Allen screw on the back and, and yeah, then it would all slide off? The Allen screw kind of slides through mm -hmm. and it's actually threaded into the shaft that's on there. Oh, it's pretty sturdy. But lining it up is the trick. Oh, so now you're trying to get it threaded back into the shaft. Yeah. This step here is what shows the difference between an average mechanic and one that really cares about doing the job right. Josh was having difficulty putting the armrest back on, getting it pushed far enough toward the seat such that the threads would actually match up. Anyone could have done this in a variety of ways, but they all would have scuffed up the armrest. Josh took the extra time to make sure it was done right and looked good at the end. So this is the old armrest, and basically just through too much pressure, every time I get off and on the tractor, every time I get off, I push my hand right down there. And it really wore out pretty quick, probably within six months of getting the tractor. It seemed a little bit weak there when I first got it. This one really looks a little tougher. Christy, meet Josh. Hi, Josh. Hello. How are you? Good. He's almost done already. Oh, wow. Super fast. He's ready to go. He is ready to go. Can we get him to mow the lawn while we're here? I'm sure he would. Make sure it feels even to you. It'll be fine. I can adjust it. I can adjust it. That's all there is to it. Well, thanks, Josh. No problem. Josh was done in a jiffy. Didn't take long at all. Couldn't be easier.